Princess of Obadu Kingdom, and as such, I move around with my aides and my guards to wherever I go. Sir. Hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Quiet. Excuse me. <laughs> Look here, young lady. Do you know that this is our institution, owned by the federal government of this country? As such, has no special preference to anybody else. And you know, as you can see. There are royals and commoners in this class. And meanwhile, uh, you came 30 minutes late to my class. I don't tolerate such. Please leave my class. Today. Yes, sir. If this were my father's palace, I would have had that man severely punished. Nobody talks to me like that. He needs to know who he just insulted. This is the height of insolence. You know, with your reaction, that tells me that you have never been to Professor Wabra's class before. If not, you will know that he is a very principled lecturer. He wants you to be in his class, be seated before he comes to class. Or oh, there's no lecture for you at all. But you think this is funny, right? But if it, it sounds funny, isn't it? In my father's palace, where I come from, commoners do not approach me standing. Not to talk of being talked to like that. This is rubbish. Look, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here.
Hi. Oh, hi. Well, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wow, I... <laughs> I didn't think you would recognize me. I mean, we just met three days ago. <laughs> You're so funny. I mean, who wouldn't recognize a full-grown eagle flying in the air? <laughs> now, that's so much flattering. <laughs> oh, come on, I didn't mean that way. Um, by the way, I have not been seeing you in class. I hope um, it's not because of what that lecture said the other day. No, it's not. It's just that I don't even know the time of our lectures. Well, that would make me assume that you do not even have time to do. Nope, I don't. Okay, well I could make you a copy if you want, but you definitely not pick it today because I didn't come with mine. So, if you desperately need it, you could just give me your number and I'll call right, you. That, that's fine, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. If you notice that people look at me a lot, like... <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Not me and your princess, aren't you? Please. Okay, that's it. Okay. So I'll see you. We actually have a class now, you know. Oh, we do? Yeah. Mike, okay. Right, let's go. Let's go. So how have you been? Why don't you be free? It's for my security. I'm royal. So I can just... <laughs> oh my god. Something they have Who are those girls? Smoking on campus like tots. I'm surprised you don't know who Amanda is. Obviously not. Well, she and her co Aristo friends are supposedly said to be like the hottest girls on campus. Not like I see it anyway. Wait, what is the rest of? It's Aristo with an eye. <laughs> well, okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> this is so unbelievable. God, you are so naive. You know what? Let's go for our lectures. And after which, I will sit you down and I'll tell you everything about those girls. But I advise you stay away from them. They're not good. Please. You can say that again. They really look like they came from the ghettos. Yeah. the hell does that girl think she is? <laughs> <sighs> My dear, I just don't know. I wonder if she realizes that this is a university. And a federal one for that matter. <sighs> Make her no worry. Not just time. Who gonna know how far? I did tell you. <laughs> hey, hey, see gone. Yeah. Oh yeah, ma, what are you doing here? Chima, Amanda. Chima. Wonder shall never end. You know, when I heard that you'd gained admission into university, I honestly thought that things would be better for you. But unfortunately. Mandas, who be this now? We don't know. This is definitely, definitely very interesting. Chima, what have you been doing to yourself? Girls. Let's go, go. Not so fast, my wife. Not so fast. What do you want? I have a million questions that you need to answer. So state them and let me go. Here's my number. Call me and we'll talk. Girls?
You set the date and time for this meeting. And yet you still kept me waiting for two hours. Oi! If you take a good look at me, it will tell you how long it took me to look this good. Me, your ex wife What's all this ex talk? Perhaps you've missed the point. I came here to drive home a few home truths. You belong to my past, and then you shall remain. That's a lie. Is this why you left? Is it this why you, you, you abandoned your only son? Why, why you just. Oh, shut up! If this is why you called me here, then I'll take my leave. Come on, man, sit down. Sit down. Nerves. You've got nerves. All right, me. You know why I'm sitting on you. I want to make something clear to you. One, I am free of your shackles of bondage. Two, I owe nobody no explanation whatsoever. No one, least of all you. So now that we're clear, I'll take my leave. I'm not done talking to you. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I'm here, I'm here to study mass communication. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> so, Mama, that is what happened. This is very sad. But since then, have you made any effort to work with her? Yes, Mama. I have. And I still will. But the only thing is just that, despite all my attempts to reach her, she just avoids me as if I have leprosy. I never liked that girl at all. Never. Especially for the fact that she was the person that made you. Not to finish the apprenticeship you went to do as in learning your trade. Tinaba has freed you. Tinaba has freed my son. Hey. Well, Mama. Mama. You have to be very careful, sister. You have to avoid that girl. Eh? Mm. Mama, avoid. Mm. Ah. Mama, please. <laughs> Don't say that again. I will not avoid her. She is the mother of my son. Uh, let me just tell you something. Mm -hmm. Every morning when I wake, at night when I'm going to bed, I always pray to God to bring us back together. God forbid! I said, God forbid, not the Lord. Do your mother. I said, do your mother. I said, do your mother. I said, do your I will clean my mouth up, but I will not change my mind. Oh. I, and I will not avoid that. The one that happened to you, you don't like to have Look at that. Princess, what do you desire we do to him? Caution him. Caution him that next time he should never touch anybody royal in his life or in his next miserable life. Fool. Young man, Young man and all of you, listen and listen real good. Stay clear from Princess Oluji. Elema, the only daughter of His Royal Majesty, who is the Obi-Wan of Obadolad. Obi-Gibson, 
Ike Mefuna Odogu. Go and spread the gospel across your campus. Good afternoon. Good I'm really sorry to bother you, but um, you and my friends sit. I'm sorry I didn't see any reservation on this seat when I came here. Oh, oh yes, I'm sorry about that. She's not yet around, so I, I actually went to put some book from the shelf. So by the time I came back, you were here. And I even dropped this book here, so you know someone was sitting down here. Uh, this is where I want to sit. Is there a problem with that? All I'm saying is please just stand up, okay? There's so many other seats here and you can use any of them. <laughs> To keep quiet. I'm trying to explain something to you. Please, can you just leave? Okay. Where is my seat? This is it. So yeah. why is he here? I've been so polite with him, telling him to stand up so he could go to another seat because you were here and he doesn't want to. Excuse me. Could you get up from my seat? Are you stupid? We don't get any significant stuff out of the six. What? Get out! Get out! That was not necessary. Now stop it. This minute. It wasn't. Shut up! What is the meaning of what you did in there? Listen to me. Nobody, no one has the right to call me that name except my grandmother. Now, don't yell. It's unladylike. All I'm saying is that what you did in there was bad. Your reaction was very bad and disrespectful. It wasn't good. Listen, I react the way I choose, when I choose, and how I choose to. No one has the right to stop me. Tell me what to do. Yes, maybe I'm not able to stop you, princess. But well, let me remind you that this is a university and not your father's kingdom. Okay, now you are shouting. Oh yes, let me shout. How can you look a young man in his face and give him a slap? What does royalty mean to you? Humiliation and disrespect. No. True leadership is a reflection of your humility and the meekness of your spirit. And my dear friend, what you just did today was a height of disregard of your status. Look, if it may interest you to know that she who stands before you is also Loya. My real name is Princess Olain Kem of Wodozi of Oji Kingdom. Now, having introduced myself to you, I bet you take my name.
guy, that guy now, correct gentleman. Eh? See as the guy takes slap and he no talk anything. Maybe only gentleman. That guy now complete all the beans. Oh boy. I wonder. He now support you. What can you agent to man be that one? I wonder. See, the funniest part is say na chick for that matter. Nah. Guy, <laughs> yeah, if na me, na mother. I go sound that girl. What's it? What? Slapping a fellow student. What does she think she is? You are talking as if you don't know. Princess Oluchi Elebenu. Not only Princess Oluchi, but Queen Amina of Zazao. Oni, how come a girl slap you yesterday and you didn't do anything? Wait, 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 wait. How did it happen? Well, nothing happened. See us now too, they move on herself as if you don't know this guy's attitude. This guy likes to pretend. Guy, you the lack. Now your best friend will tell you, say your mouth they smell. You the lack. Oni, no give us gentlemanly attitude unless you're planning something, are you? And if you're planning something for real, don't ever think of leaving us out guy, of the guy, action. Guys, let's calm down. Don't no, relax. <clears throat> calm down. Okay, what's the plan now? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Yes, guys, first of all, eh? I want to thank you for having my back and supporting me, but on this matter, nothing is going to happen. Okay? Why? Because she's a princess. That ah, princess, my foot. Look, what are you talking about? I don't owe anyone any explanation. But the thing is, guys, make anybody not touch this girl. Because if you touch her, I will touch you back. Oh, you listen to me. Listen to me. Let me just listen. tell you now. I've made my point. Let me tell you. Okay. Guys, forgive me for a moment. <laughs> Wait now! <laughs> Wait now! Do you know why I invited you here? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Good. You were witnesses to what happened in the school library yesterday between those students. Yeah, we did, sir. Um, well, sir, actually, I was told. I was present, sir. Good. I personally singled out the three of you. Uh, because I know you are the only carryover students in my class. I intentionally did not want to double into that matter. I want you to handle it. Well, I don't understand, sir. Sir, but how? Um, good. I don't know how you are going to achieve it, but I want you to bring that girl to apologize to that boy for slapping him in that place. I don't know. I will want that thing to be done in that very place. Your success or failure in this mission will determine if you are coming here next year to carry over my course or not. Um, I give you till the end of this semester to achieve this. Thank you, you're dismissed. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Babe, where to this time again? The minister's calling and I'm rolling. Oh, I don't die. I don't you die. Bum. <laughs> oh, God. Hurt like fire. Hurt like fire. Hurt like, like fire. You girls. Oyema, what are you doing here? I've got a million questions for you. And a million reasons why you should quit this life of lies and, and just face your reality. What reality, if I may ask? Chima Manda. Team. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What is going on here? What exactly is going on here? Amanda, who is this guy and why does he keep calling you Chima Amanda? Oyema, you will get your frustrated life out of my space now. What? You heard me. You walk in here on me and my friends like an imposter. And an imposter I will treat you as. I, your husband. The father of your child, I'm an imposter. Get out. I said get out! No. I'm not going anywhere. Do you listen to me? Chimamanda. Please. I beg you. Everything, any, everything that has happened in the past is in the past. 
and I'm willing to let you die there. Just remember how we used to be, for the sake of our son. Just hey! Get out! Now, how can you slap? You slap your husband. Young man, I don't know who you are and what you have with Amanda, but I suggest you leave now. Please just go, go! Get out, get out, get out! The word is X! 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 Operating word is X! It's easy. It's okay, calm down. It's okay. Amanda, you slapped him. Why? That is not what I expected you to ask, okay? What I expect you to ask is, Amanda, who are you? Oh, shut up! A cigarettes. And I'll see you guys when I get back. <laughs> Something she's not telling us. <laughs> hey! Where does she never end? I'm very excited, Joe. Like I told you over the phone today, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. You know you're the only friend I have on this campus. Okay, fine. It's all right. I forgive you. I mean, who am I not to forgive her or your majesty? Anyways, do me one more favor. Which is? Cut out this your majesty thing. I mean, you're also a royal princess. But that reminds me. I've been meaning to ask you. How come you don't have royal guards attached to you as a princess? So you see, I do not attach so much importance to all those things. My primary assignment in this school is to come out with a first class. Or else, I'll be forced to marry a 60-year-old man. Wait, hold, hold on, what did you say? 60 years old? Yeah. <laughs> How? Why? You see, the kingdom where I come from, because I'm the first daughter of the king, I have to marry from a specific royal family. So, and the only eligible man alive is 60 years old. You make me laugh. So it's <laughs> more thing. Let them say whatever they want to say. I don't care. At least, I mean, you, 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 you. Anybody who doesn't talk about is not a human being. Yeah, huh? Yes, if you're not being talked talk, about, you don't exist. Okay. It means you're not improving, you know? <laughs> okay, so, okay. Fine. I'm um, considering the way you're sounding. Why are you so bent on having a first class degree? <laughs> you are so naive. Okay, wait. Don't tell me that you're the only one who doesn't know on this campus that when you study English and come up with the first class, the school puts you on a scholarship to any country of your choice so you can do your masters. Oh, um, are you serious? <laughs> Real. True. Oh, that's, that's such a good trick. Look at yeah. you. That's my plan of escaping the six years old man. Doesn't sound bad. As a matter of fact, I don't mind going to any country I love to do my masters. I have a country in mind. Well, Ask me. That's a very well. wonderful plan, but you really have to work. Of course I will. So what's good? Cool? South of France. <laughs> then you have to work hard then. That's the guy. So my princess is scared. It's not. It's not like I'm scared. The guy is just so strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's scared. Mm -hmm. well,
Princess, food is ready. Should we serve it? Now will you get your stupid self and get out of my sight? I said get out! Okay, my princess. Yes, Mama. I see. I've told you to let that go. But you won't listen to me. Don't beg her again. Chima Amanda has gone too far. When I come back, it's not going to be too late. You won't go there for my boy. I'm going to leave. But I'm just when a monkey jumps up to the thing, it does not come down the track. I believe she'll still return. Honestly, I, I understand how she feels. She, I think she's reacting to the fact that she feels her youth was cut short by early marriage. Oh, yes, which she got herself into in the first place by being good. It's okay, my mind. Even though sometimes I feel that she's partly responsible for my misfortune, but. I also know that I played my own part in the whole problem, so... Thank God that you know that she's a part of your misfortune. I know the son I gave birth to. If she had closed her legs, back like a woman, you would have zipped your own up by. But no, she knows how to. I did not even come here because of Kim Amanda. Well, because of nature. What about him? But that's why I've said I should bring him to Lagos on my next visitor. Mm -hmm. That they'll be taking care of him. Mm -hmm. What can I say? I know Esther will take care of him. Very well, just like that. That left leg you complained about the other time, how is it fair? Let alone. Go for the views yourself. You're not sleeping. It was, but I didn't see you in bed. Uh, I'm watching TV. It didn't seem to me like you were watching TV. But I said I'm watching TV. Okay, fine. So are you coming to bed now? I'll join you. Okay. I did not mean to slap him. Sorry? But the, I thought you had, Oh no, I, I didn't say anything. Seriously, I, I'll meet you up in the room. I beg you, leave my house now. So my civil will stop with you. If you don't feel my pain, if you can't feel my pain, why not feel his? Whatever happened in the past has happened. I know I made my mistakes and I'm begging you, please forgive me. For his sake. For our sakes. Please, Chima. I can see that you're not deterred by all I have done to you. 
you will take this piece of bondage that you call your son. What has taken over you so completely that you feel absolutely no compassion for your own son? The first fruit of your womb. Your son. Nothing. Alright. You will not spoil it. You will not spoil it. <laughs> man, you have been through a lot, man. Yeah, man, you've really been through a lot. So, Mama, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And to think, man, the glamorous Amanda Abi. Amanda is your ex-wife. I paid her dowry. She's still my wife. But she doesn't want you anymore. She so, doesn't need you. So, so what are you going to do now? I guess I'll take my son to my brother in Lagos. And now just continue to plan. That's a good idea. Well, guys, thank you, God, sir. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your concern. Oh, thanks, man. You guys are good friends. Thank you so much. But this boy's really tired and sleepy, so I need to get him to bed. Alright, let me see. So you be. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow, yeah? I'll just take you guys tomorrow. We'll meet you tomorrow. Take care, man. Honestly, I don't think I have the guts to approach them. Hmm. Just look at a huge bodyguard. Yeah, I'm so scared to approach them. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I can't forget what I have. What's or what one of our bodyguards did to one guy just because he wanted to talk to the princess. Really? Hmm. What did they say that he did? Hmm. They said that he mercilessly manhandled this guy and asked him to go and spread the gospel. The gospel? Joseph, um, get you what gospel? <laughs> St. Matthew, whatever it is. The gospel of what they are capable of doing to any intruder, I guess. What would that one happen? Everything is going on. I think school is somewhere I could just concentrate them. Well, only me knows what I'm facing, so. I don't know. Look, I understand, so I did not have to. I don't see that, so. They're ever saying that our case will be worse. Because they expect us to be most ahead because we are in Zambia. Zambia? What are you saying? You know what? I think we should pass this way, our friend. You know, we can get to the basics of food. Brilliant idea. Nice idea. It's class for us, brother. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Anything, my beauty. Anything. Father. Yes. I want you to 
withdraw all the royal guards attached to me on campus. Why am I in love with an act? Yes, why? Well, you cannot begin to imagine the kind of embarrassment they are causing me. Embarrassment? What? They deserve immediate punishment. Yes. No, Father, that's not what I mean. You don't understand what I'm saying. No, Father, there is no student that walks around the campus with, a, with royal bodyguards. It just makes people have a wrong impression of me. And what is that in my accent? Mother, people think I'm a snob. They think I'm arrogant. Besides, Mother, the worst of it is that they think I'm a child that cannot even take care of myself. That is my beauty talking. Come. You are our baby. My last child. And my first daughter. After six boys, Princess. Oh, I wish one of your brothers was in that school with you. I would have loved it so much. Now, love, I prefer the school abroad. They can take care of them. They can take care of themselves. Oh, so, Father, are you saying that I can't take care of myself? No. Father, you call me a lioness. That means I. I'm able to take care of myself. That is my princess talking. Uh, now, I declare immediate withdrawal of all the royal guards. For what? Except what? To help you at home in school. No, Daddy. I, I want every, everyone withdrawn. Father, let me do things for myself at least for once. But you know that. No, no. I think I see her point. All your wishes are granted. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now that your father has granted all your requests, I know you're very happy. Yes, Mommy. I am so over the top. Like, I'm really happy. <laughs> um, let me get something else. Adesé, adesoma, adesé, adesoma, adesé, adesoma. No, seriously, like I'm really happy. Like I get to do things for myself. She looked like this today. I cooked. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. No, seriously, I did. I, no, but I won't lie to you now. I, seriously, I cooked. I even swept the house. Like. I did stuff on my own and it feels so good. I'm just like tired of you are. I'm tired of people doing everything for me. You know what I'm saying? Like now I can get to wear this. I don't have to wear that I wear yeah. what I wear every time. I can wear what every other girl is wearing. Now you know what you know making Don't you? <laughs> So, what did your father say? Uh, yeah, you know, it wasn't like, there's one thing my father does, right? If I tell him I want anything, he doesn't to say no, right? He, but, okay, he said, um, it's not safe for you, uh, you come over without your security, uh, you know, your royalty, you should, I'm like, daddy, no, this is what I really want, and he said, you can have it. <laughs> I am so, 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 so happy. This girl's again. God, look. Let's just leave here. I mean, this smoke is doing something to me. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Were you in any way referring to us? I cannot remember speaking to you. Oh, you had better not. <laughs> Come on, Jace. Just take it easy, okay? It seems her royal majesty is scared. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Come, 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 come. Scared of who? Scared of both of you? Little church rats? Not on your life. And who the hell do you think you are? And who the 
hell do you think you are? Oh, oh sweetie, huh? Listen. Tell me. Listen to me, okay? Okay. You are a princess. Blue blood. I'm not supposed to be caught bantering words with commoners. No, leave me. Let me face that. Just because I'm a princess doesn't mean I will sit down and take your nonsense from these low lives. People that are not even qualified to be my servants. I understand. But they're not worth it. Do you understand? Sure they're not. They're beneath you. Let's get out of here. This place is obviously so defiled. No, come and sit down. Come and sit here. Oh. Yes. Did you hear that? The other one is a princess too. Oh God. I wish I was a princess. Fool. That is what you are. Big fat fool. Idiot. Get out. Gee? Get out. Did I say anything wrong? Um, excuse me. Um, excuse me, please. Um, can we have a minute of your time? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will just go straight to the point. Avoid wasting much of your time. We are here witness what transpired between you and one princess. So we have come to apologize on her behalf. And you guys are... Yeah, sorry, pardon my rudeness. I am Joseph, Bayo, and this is in kitchen. Theater Arts Department. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, man. Good. Nice yeah. to meet you. Right. High five. Huh? Ah, Bayo, right? Yeah. <laughs> guys, honestly, I have nothing against that lady. Oh, really? Seriously? Yeah, of course. Oh, come on now. I know it's really humiliating what she did, I mean, slapping me like that, but at the end of the day, no, she happens. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, really matter. Okay, mm. so guys. <laughs> okay, I don't ask you for this before, you're just really professional or whatever it does. I'm always around. Wow. Oh, so let's go ahead. Thank you for giving us your time. Uh, we are here on behalf of Onyema. We want you to understand the kind of psychological trauma he is now in. Not as if he wants to retaliate, nothing of such. But it will be justifiable on your friend's part to apologize and make peace. Listen, Ken, you're well aware that the princess has stepped on so many toes on this campus. People who could harm her at any given opportunity. Did you just say that? Oh, no, 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 okay. But you know, the princess should not mistake when you're my silence for stupidity or cowardice because no man can take what he took from her and stick to his school. I guess um, uh, you have to talk to the princess so that she can apologize to Onyema. Some are swallow her pride. Well, you guys are just talking as though she doesn't have a choice. Oh. Would I say I'm present some threats? No, 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 no. Certainly, nothing of such. Not at all. Now, I want you to see it in this way. We all here know you, you didn't support any of our actions that day. Just like Nkechi earlier said, that your friend has stepped on so many toes. So, apologizing to this guy is an opportunity. I mean, very great opportunity for her setting off a new record in this institution and creating a new self-image for herself where everybody has seen her as rude and arrogant. Good girl. Which she is not. She's not a bad person. But I will talk to her and then... Um, <clears throat> I'll try my best. No guarantee though. You know. My apologies to him and her. No, you wait a minute. I hope he didn't send you guys here. No, no, no. 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 You just That's concerned students. No problem then. I will try my best, like I said. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank All right. You.
did I? What, what is this? What is this? Did I ask you to get me red wine? Come here, you nitwit! Did I ask you to get me red wine? I said champagne, you idiot! Get this thing out of my sight! Get it out! Nonsense! Like anything is wrong with me. You know I'm your friend and you can tell me anything. And I'm fine. Absolutely fine. Oh no, you're not. Olichi. Like I said, you can talk to me. Whatever is bothering you, did the night I slept here? I heard you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, while you were sleeping. Oh yes, don't be surprised. If you keep this thing within you and you don't tell anybody about it, you only die in silence. And you know, like the other day in the library, remember what happened? I shouldn't have slapped that guy. I mean, no, I, 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 I that was wrong. I, I should have handled it in a more mature way. But you know, the worst thing when I looked into his eyes, he's a nice person. He doesn't look like a hostile person. Otherwise, trust me, I would have known how to handle it, but I saw a smiling face. I feel so bad. Trust me. That's all that's about you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll find a way to. That's what I want to do. What is wrong with me? I'm just. Thank you, we are coming. Student. But you agreed to it. I know I did. My heart is failing me. I, I'm scared. I, I don't have the courage to. You don't have to be scared. I will be with you all through. Why would your heart fail you? 
I just want you to do the right thing. Prove everybody wrong that you're not the kind of person they think that you are. Look, it's not going to be that easy. I... I I know they are all going to be surprised, but I I guess I don't have much of a choice. stand on this issue. Hmm? I want you as my wife. No, Chief. As your concubine. You already have a wife and children. Did I hear you say children? Did you say children? Four girls. Daughters. So, what am I going to do with four girls? So, who will inherit my empire when I'm, when I'm gone? All these girls will be married off to some men somewhere. I'm left with nothing. So you see, I want you to bear me a son. Perhaps, Chief, there is a law in your land that states that women should not bear children after four issues. Uh, no, 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 no. That is not what I'm saying. You see, my wife has this issue. There's a problem. Of those four children, the last two were delivered through operation. See? And the doctor warned us not to have any more children or even try it. Because she might lose her life through that. So, we place her on a permanent uh, family planning method. Really? Yes. What sort? Oh, we, we just remove her fallopian tube. And she agreed to that? Of course. But she have any choice? I mean, of course, initially she put up a fight, but, but she has to agree. It is to save her life. So you see my, my problem now. Eh? I need you to bear me a son. And when I look at my wife at home, I don't desire her anymore. 
She doesn't give me that thing that makes me, my heart go for joy. So I look outside in marriage for that. And I found you. Hmm? I found you. And I, and I love you. And I love everything about you. You see? So, what do you say? Chief, it's a bit too sudden. You'll have to give me some time. Well, of course, of course, of course. But but for how long, my sweet? Eh? Um, Soon, Chief. Soon. So, can we leave this restaurant? They, they refuse to bring the food. I'm very hungry. Uh, they, they really, they're not usually like this. Uh, the food will be here. Not just the chef. We already ordered now. But we can leave. After all, how much was it? I would like to see you smile, huh? Mm-hmm. That is my sweet 16. <laughs> mm. I just love you. What's up now? It's not coming out. It's not. I'm trying to fix it. Babe! <laughs> what are you doing there? I think it's not coming on. I'm trying to do it on the yeah, you leave television. They go buy you another one at the day. <laughs> I trust you now. You know. <laughs> so it's awesome. Oh, awesome to me. Not saying I'm glad you guys are not. Oh. You remember I said I had something to tell you guys? Oh, yes. It's about Chief. Yeah, yeah. You all know why I'm dating Chief, right? Of course now. Cash now. Okay. Right now, he doesn't want my body as payment anymore. So what does he want? He wants my precious hand in marriage, in his dreams. Why are you all staring at me as if I just rejected a free ticket to Mallorca? Babe, that is what you've done, okay? I don't understand. Chief asked your hand in marriage and all you could do was reject it. Hello? <laughs> Babe, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Chief Liu, one of the biggest car dealers in this town proposed to you and you're wasting time. Come off it, girl. You girl simply amaze me. You just amaze me. She knows there's no price to my freedom. More so, his conditions. I can't, I beg. Conditions? What conditions? That's I bear him a son. What? <laughs> That's absurd. No, I didn't get it. I don't get it. Did his wife just die? According to him, his wife already has four daughters and she cannot afford to give birth again because they had cut off her fallopian tubes. He had severed it. On his own account too. He <laughs> advised her to <laughs> to him to him All his children. <laughs> yes. You don't say. Yes. <laughs> so what's, what's the food? No, no, he, he, he says that she can no longer give birth, you know, because if she tries to jeopardize her life. So it's me now that you're going to this on. Oh, you know what? This is becoming interesting. So tell me more. I don't understand. So why did you why did you reject the proposal? Why oh, do you also think you cannot give him? Wait, 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 wait. Do I look like a baby making factory to you? Do I? Am I God? Okay. Did fine. you wait, 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 am I God? Oh, 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 it's okay, fine. I know you're not God, okay? But then this thing takes time. It takes time, from the time you take in to time of delivery, you know. There's so much time in between and then you can comfortably woo him to your side. Your point being? Accept the proposal, okay? Accept it. You don't know. With time, you will just... I'm sure you will succeed in gaining all he has, right? You know what, Jace? I will never cease to amaze. Don't do. I will think about it. You better do. Just think about it. You wear clothes, you want to go to the house. You guys have food, that's very good. I'm so happy for you, Rio, that after what you've been through, you still have the strength to move on. It's not easy, eh? I praise your courage. Thank you very much, Auntie yeah. Anaga. I know that I disappointed everyone with my actions in the past, but uh, 
I'm also very lucky that I'm surrounded by people who understand that life is not about how many times one falls, but how many times one gets up after a fall. After my discussion with my brother's wife, Esther, my eyes opened to many things. And I'm glad that she helped me realize that going back to school will make my life better. I see my life today. I really thank God. And, uh, Auntie, to you, there's only one thing that I can say all the time. Thank you. And to your husband, too, for your support, both financially, morally, and otherwise. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Don't worry. Mm? He's God. All glory be to God. Just keep it up, okay? If I have more, I will do. Um, I have to leave now because it's getting so dark. Uh, please. Let me call Mama so that uh, she can see you. Uh, okay, yes, no problem. Be fast. Well now, you girls have asked questions about my past. It's one of the many reasons I refused cheese proposal. I am a married woman with a son. Chimamanda Chimamanda Mama You call me Sit down Chimamanda Mama Have you learnt anything since the death of my husband, your father? No, Mama Are you sure? I know why I'm asking. The way I feel now, hmm? I feel like burying you alive. Mama? Yes. Because I don't know why you have chosen to disgrace me and put tears in my eyes, just like your sister Chinasa did. Mama, I don't understand though. You don't understand. You don't understand if he's a madman that got you pregnant. Or you don't understand where you got pregnant. Eh? Which one? Chima. Mama. Who is responsible for Mama. Chima Mama. Are you deaf? No. Oh. You want to run, eh? No, Mama. If you move and inch now, you will see demons. Chimamanda! Mama! Talk! Nobody, nobody. Hi! 
Mama. I have decided to kill you before you kill me. The only thing that will save you is to tell me who is responsible. Nobody you. Chimamanda. Mama. Stop. Mama. 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 Chimamanda. Chimamanda. Mama? Mama? Ogini, oh, are you ready to confess now? Are you ready to tell me who it is? All here in Mama Onyema's house to talk about Onyema, my boy. Onyema is a boy with a promising future. But where he went wrong is what I don't know. In fact, the most annoying part is that I trusted him more than all the boys serving under me. He is so intelligent, so hardworking, so articulate in business that sometimes it got me thinking, why didn't he further his education? And that is why we are all here today, disappointed. Mr. Mbabwe, I thank you very much for everything. My face is covered with shame and my heart is filled with tears. Just for the sake of my late brother, David, who entrusted Onyema to my care. I wanted to send Onyema to school, just as I did to his elder brother, Manuel. I single-handedly saw him through. First reaction would have been to send Onyema packing from my house. But on the second thought, I realized that he has been good to me, he has been
with hard working and diligent in business. Then, on a second thought, I decided to have a change of heart. So, where is all this talk leading us to? Too much grammar. Are you telling us me that tells? Cut your story short and go straight to the point. Uh -uh. See, me, Agnes Oko, we never take a with any use. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it right there. Give it to the mm -hmm. phone. Look at this woman. You think you can walk into my compound and call my precious, handsome, promising son useless? That of my life. I'm well. Look at this woman. You are a shameless woman. You are a very stupid woman. You couldn't teach your daughter morals. You couldn't tell your daughter to close her legs. Because I know my son. If you taught your daughter how to close her legs and not to open for for one man, I'm on your hand. Look at you. 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 Look at we have not come here to quarrel, but we have come here to find solution to this problem. Let's put our heads together and find solution to this problem. Ladies, please, please, hey. please, let us watch what we say to each other. Eh? I know we are all sad, we are all angry, but please, <laughs> let us talk with caution. Please, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted. I called on Yemba. I asked him if he loved the girl enough to want to marry her. He told me that actually he loves the girl. But the truth is that he is not ready for marriage. What? You see? Who is not ready for marriage? Hey! <laughs> Agnes, if you give her, or Nyema, or whatever he is called, I'm not Chago Chima man that he jara. Eh? 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 For him to leave the first seed in his life to become a bastard. Right. So, based on that, we decided that I will pay the bride price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to give him a hundred and fifty thousand naira and a shop. Despite the fact that he still has two years to serve under me. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Man. You are a wise man. You've spoken like a wise man. And leaving me to tend to a child. What is the meaning of all this? What, am, am I not talking to a human being? You are talking now. You are talking to a human being. You are talking to a human being. Is it because I got money and, 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 and come back in there? Leave my hand! Chimamanda, I know why I have been enduring all this. Eh? It's because of the fact that we did not plan all day, or we did not plan to do this at this time. But now, it's not that I, I will not have married you eventually, but... Look, Chimamanda, for the sake of this boy, for the sake of peace and unity, let's try to work... You are who? You are who? You are who? See, 
there, on your mouth. One day, but you go back at you. Don't come back again, oh. Try to hear me. You less foolish man. Me. Yeah. Useless. Yeah. Foolish. Mama, me, I'm not going back to the house. Oh. I'm not going back to the house. Every day, quarter, 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 quarter. My daughter, you have to endure it. I had better plans for you, but you chose this one. You have to live with it, my dear. Bye, Mama. It's all right. Tomorrow morning, I will take you back to your husband's place. Hmm? Hmm? Mama, you are not listening to me, oh. You're not listening to me, oh. Why do you come and carry my cups, oh? You come and carry my cups. God forbid. Uh -uh. You have to go and sleep now. It's already past midnight. Let tomorrow come first. I will know what to do. Hmm? You have changed so much. You too. Hey, long time no see. Where have you been? Eh, uh, I got married to that uh, Oyema. That's my boyfriend in secondary school. Go on. That's Oyema. Uh, Are you serious? So, what about it? I don't have a son. I'm married. You have your son. So where is your son now? He's at home. At home? You don't go to school anymore. Why? I want to go, but <laughs> no money, no, no money. The problem is to start first, not money. Okay? But you still have intention of going back to school? Hey, now. Ah, ah. Then come, I'll help you. Hey, education is the key to everything now. <laughs> Joy, oh. Joy, oh. Yes, you go back to school, everything will be alright, okay? Hell, hell, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was going to buy bread for my family. Okay, hey, yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. I finally spoke to him to help me gain admission into the university. How did you solve the issue of your husband and child? I left them for good. You did? Why? Peace. Peace. That's one question I have no answer to. I guess I wanted a new life. Said a new identity. I was formerly known as Chimamanda Onwara, but now I changed my name. No, not now. Like you know, you know, some time ago I changed my name. I changed my name to Amanda Peters. Regrets? <sighs> no, I have not. I have no regrets. My only regret is the fact that Oyema is in this school with me. <sighs> what do I tell Chief? Where do I go from here? What do I tell him? You don't have to tell him anything, okay? Oh, sure, you have to tell him something. Okay, Onyema hasn't taken back his dowry, and Chief will also want to pay a dowry. You just, you just have to tell him something. My fears, exactly. Like this, this is getting. 
been so difficult. <sighs> Why don't you tell him a lie? Okay, just lie to him. Tell him you were raped, okay, and, and, and then you, you got pregnant, and then your village people, you know. Just lie to him. They, they asked him to pay a dowry on your head, okay? So, or else he faces your village or okay, just, I don't know, just, just tell him something. Please. How can you ever say that? to my problems. Give that proposal of yours a thought. You have? That's good. Very good. You see, a child will convince you. Are you I, sure? I'm very positive. You see, when a man says something and he does it, that is when you know he is a man. You will not regret this. Listen, I will do everything to make your life comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. You don't look bad either. 
No, seriously. Eat. You know, I... I really can't believe you're sitting down like this talking, you know. Like, after everything. Come on, why are you staring at me like that? I saw you, Mrs. Amanda. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> so tell me, girls, what's been happening? I have missed school a lot. <laughs> mm. So many things, babe. But not to worry, I'll fill you in. Professional gossip. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Right wait. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My dear, that is one of the hottest gist on campus you have been missing. Such a compatible couple. God, I love them together. Shut up. I mean, I love the way she dresses. So unique. Dresses. Shut up. So, so what are they doing together? 
Dating, of course. Dating? <laughs> yes, babe. Dating. Impossible! Oi! Yeah, and um, considering the way they met, it appeared impossible, but you know this thing called love. It does play on us, you know. Um, so, what point are you trying to make, gossip girl? <laughs> oh, yes. I was saying something, wasn't I? Sorry, my mind drifted. Remember once we had um, the princess slapped a guy in a lecture hall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was your Oyema. What? Well, you can't be serious. How come they are together? How? <laughs> Ask me, oh, Mr. Love, where are you? Please come out. We have a question for you. Ask me again. Be Chris. <laughs> you are staying with us, that yeah. Hey. Oh my God. Look at your back, darling. Yeah. Oh, good. She's hot. She's hot. She's hot. Can't you see that he's been dying to tell you something? Please listen to me. I mean, people make mistakes. Ever since you told me everything that he told you, I, I have been doing a lot of thinking. I did not hide anything from you. And that, my dear, is love. Look, I know. You know I love you. I think he's a good man. He has a good heart. Mm -hmm. True. I know what to do. Well, I'll trust you in that, but you really know what to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, bye. You see, since we had our last baby, you know, we have not been able to have another child. Hmm. Uh, not that I'm blaming you or is any fault of yours, you know. Uh, and I know you vehemently kicked against uh, the family planning we did. But the sad story now is, uh, I don't have a son. That's it. It was as if I was stubborn. But deep inside my spirit, I knew that a day like this would come. Oh, <laughs> hear me out, eh? Hear me out. I am not blaming you. Mm -mm. You are not to blame for anything that happened. You know. But well, what am I to do? The doctor suggested uh, that was the 
best way out. You should have insisted we tie the fallopian tube, not severe it. <laughs> don't worry, I don't want any mistakes. Your life is precious to me. <laughs> that man is not God. Believe in God. At least maybe five years more. And everything will have been okay. <laughs> I leave everything to him. I know he will make me smile again. I know he will wipe my tears. What are you trying to say? Yeah? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing again. Good night. Yeah. Well, um, give me a maca. I just want to tell you that uh, I am taking a new wife. So prepare yourself for it. Hmm? Good night, my dear. Vice President of Student Union. She invited me for her birthday party, but I don't think I'll go if you're not coming with me. So I just want to know if you're coming. Yeah, I don't like parties. I understand. I know you don't. I don't either. But I mean, she really pleaded with me, like she really wants me to be there. So let's just go. Just a couple of hours. I can't go there alone. Hmm? What time? Uh, 8 o'clock, but I, I made her promise me I wasn't staying all night today. No, it's tomorrow. I know. Please, I really want you to come now, Kim. So him are going to be there? He was also invited, so he's coming. Is that a yes? I'll try. I'm not promising you anything. SUG president, the SUG air school, and all other dignities can present, my fellow students. You are all welcome to this very distinguished occasion, the birthday of our very own, the SUG vice president. Uh, without much ado, let us quickly introduce the celebrants. The so very distinguished morning star. Wow. Mm. Give it up mm. for Miss Joy Martin. Hello, everybody. Hi. You're welcome to my birthday party. Wow. Am I excited tonight? No. I am very excited. I really appreciate your coming here tonight. Well, as you all know me, I'm not a lady of too many words, but of action. And I just want to tell you to, you all to just feel free, enjoy yourselves, Catch your phone. Do whatever you want to do. Just do your thing. Just do it. Ah, because I am in charge here. Thank you once more. Thank you. Now, before the commencement of this party, let us join our celebrants in cutting the cake. Now, she's going to cut the cake at the countdown of three. Okay? okay. Now, three. 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 I can't hear you. Three. 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 three.
It was like a small world until I got exposed to being in school. Coming here has made me realize that life is not just about trying to make everything perfect. You know, everybody makes mistakes. Some you can correct, some you have to leave. You do not owe your life to anybody. You cannot dictate what fate or the tide of fate takes you to tomorrow. Well, look at you. Just yesterday, you were just like any other guy. And today, you will become the prince of my life. And I love you. When you did not do the bad, do the bad, this year to give you a well, well, what do we have here? A romance brewing? Keep on, Amanda. Take your goons and get away from here, please. We don't want any trouble. Of okay. course, of course, of course I will. Wait a minute. Is this not the little princess who woos her Prince Charming with a sweet dirty slap? Oh, I'm warning you. Oh, yes, come on, hit me. It's your stock in trade. Go on, hit me. Do it. Go on, hit me. As for you, my darling, I do not envy you. Or haven't you heard that in real life, princesses do not eat leftovers? Ever heard of blue blood? No, I... I don't think so. So I wouldn't expect you to know what it means. A royal blood rises to defend his object of interest, be it animate or inanimate. As for leftovers, Chimamanda Omora Ne Kovyo. What? <laughs> I take that to mean that you're beginning to understand what I meant by blue blood. That's if you're not terribly dumb. Which I suppose, as I was saying, there was a saying that says that when a king eats whatever he chooses, his subjects understand that he must passionately desire whatever he decides to eat. As for you girls, I would be kind enough to employ you to work in my palace. Oops. Oh, I forgot something really vital. The only people qualified to take such noble jobs must be virgins and unfortunately, you all are disqualified because you have been so highly defiled. Take me home, sweetheart. Will you? Twat. Silly twat. Get on with my life. You and I no longer have anything. Please, I beg you, take your bright price back. Every single time I wanted to talk to you about anything, the only thing I got was uh, embarrassment. Mixed with some threats and a healthy dose of your nasty attitude. So, why should I even listen to you in the first place? Oh yeah, man. We've been standing here for two hours talking about the same thing. I'm not shouting. I'm begging you. Please. 
did we ever have to pay for anything? Never. I gave you all. My body. My soul. My arm. To trample on it. To spat on the very essence of my soul. My being. And then you asked me to listen to you. Is this a joke? I'm getting married. Really? If you don't take it back, <laughs> this marriage will not hold when you marry. It's okay. Just tell your mother to drop it with my mother in the village. I hope that uh, blesses everything up. You're not dead, you're alive. All of a sudden, it's very convenient for you to acknowledge my existence. I'm alive. Let me alone. You abandoned a one year old child. Think about that. Please, I don't know you to be heartless. Or he. I've tried everything, Chief. But he has refused. He's very heartless. Do you think uh, he still has an interest in marriage? Ah, oh, Chief, no now. Is he not the one that drove me away and collected my son? He said I ruined his life. Look at how he's treating me now. First, and let's see how big the young tender develops. Um, I think um, your wife is an epitome of uh, virtue. Ah, well, this life I can't understand. You know, I have three sons and two daughters. I know. My sons follow the root of their wicked mother, but thank God. Daughters are my only consolation. Hey, but not, uh, better a wicked son than none. You won't understand. But I still think you consider adoption as I suggested to you earlier. God forbid. Eh? The gods forbid that. It's good now. Uh, God forbid. I forbid it. My ancestors forbid it. I, I, I Chief Mkenefuna, Okim Dilim, adopt. He does not beget my status. Besides, I want my own blood on the seat in my empire when I'm gone. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Ah. Bear in mind that delay is not denier. I know. I know you want to make her your, your wife, Celeste. First thing first.
cinema. Thank you. Who is the person that you can Mama. Always impatient. Uh, you know your mother. Mama. This is Princess Oluchi. The woman that is going to be my wife. My daughter, is it true? Uh, yes. Hey! Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just finished speaking with them, Dr. Stevens. Now, what was that nonsense he was telling me? I, I, I can, I can see. Uh, you see what? You see, eh? You see your life. You see your life. Idiamaka, I have spent six million naira for medical bills, both at National Hospital Abuja and abroad, to get to the best gynecology and deal with this family planning issue. I don't know what you do with the money. Hmm? In spite of all the advice, warnings, you got pregnant. So, you want the father to play on my neck? He can, I can explain. Explain what? Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Have faith that God will still give me another child. This time, male. So, I couldn't destroy what makes me a woman. Ah. Madam Dictionary. Okay. So, you, you want your father to be at my neck? Because you know that he will blame me if anything happens to you. You know that? Ah, you see, you did not only deceive me. You have taken me for a ride. Right? A very long ride. And I'm telling you, I'm tired of that. It's enough and it will stop tonight. So I've made up my mind that tonight you will pack your load and go to the family house. Yes, please. Please. Remember how we started? Have I forgotten? How can I forget? He used to be very, very honest, loyal. Faithful, but since you follow this, your pack of this, your pack of lies and uh, deceit, I don't understand you anymore. So I've made up my mind that today you will pack a load and return to your parents' house. Please, please don't do this to me. It's me. Don't do this. Look at me. It's me. It's me. Uh, 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 India Maga, God bear me witness. Uh -huh. You are going to your parents' house uh -huh. on the next available flight. Ah, you can please. you here because I want you to live here with me. Chief, but what about your wife and children? I have sent them back here. It's all for you. Hey Chief, what will people say of me? What would they think of me? Let's just explain. Don't ever think about what people will say. Think about us. See? It is not that I cannot afford to rent an apartment for you somewhere. But I don't want that. I don't want somebody to be at home and be worrying and nagging me about not coming home in time or even when I don't want to come back home at all. When I want to spend time with you. Hmm? I want you with me 24-7. Hmm? That's why I love you, Chief. I love you so much, my dear. Come on, let's go inside. More surprises for you. Let's for today. Let's go in. More surprises, eh? <laughs> I hope the food was 
your taste, my chief. Ah, oh, my dear, I enjoyed it. You know, I just love everything about you, my sweet 16. <laughs> ah, you said there's good news. Guess. That only my boy. Yes, I agreed to take back his dowry. No, no, Chief. And then what is it, my angel? But, um, you are smiling, so you can't be hungry. <laughs> mm, rest your humor, Chief. It's there. What's that? Are you pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are pregnant. Yes, yes Chief. <laughs> come, come, come. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God, I'm so overjoyed. Oh, I just love you, Master Sixteen. Um, uh, you know what? Um, a brand new car for you. Chief, I already have a car. Am I complaining? Huh? See, just give me a son, and the whole world is there for you to take. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Joel! Joel, open the gate! Look at. I know here. Go girls! Wow! I'm ready! Go. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. You've You're made welcome. my day. You're welcome. <laughs> Amanda, you are in heaven. I mean, heaven on earth. Jeez. My dear, that is an understatement. This is paradise. No, no. no. Amanda's in Wonderland. Oh, no. Wait till you see the rest. So come with me. You are not their heart. Oh my God. Their heart. You are not their heart. You're not, she's hot. Oh my she's god. She's hot. What You're not, not she's hot. Hot like fire. Mm. Hot like fire. My dear, you're enjoying. I can see why you forgot us so soon. <laughs> Settling down wasn't easy. I can tell you. It's not easy. I, it's not exactly what I expected out of marriage. Manda, you still smoke? He doesn't know. What about his wife? What's that supposed to mean? Am I not his wife? I wonder. What? But. Or you mean the other woman? Yeah. He sent her packing. For Mandas. Are you serious? Oh, darling, everything is working out for you. I beg, no forget me, oh man. No forget me. No, no me. forget me. <laughs> <Okay>. Never. <laughs> you know, Chief is such a wonderful man. I don't know, he's tremendous. He he treats me like this princess who shouldn't, you know. Oh. Well, you know, he just, I don't know, he just, I can't imagine. Chief showers me with gifts. Oh. You know what? Amanda, 
Chief. What is going on here? Ah, Chief, it's just my friends. They just came to visit, just visiting. Come on, see me now. Okay, Chief. sent his wife packing because of Amanda. Hmm. Do not say anything. Chief. Chief. Hey, you, you, you. Now get up and get out of my compound. Wait. Amanda, what's the problem? Oh, I don't know, Chief. Chief. Now, Chief. You don't want me to let the dogs loose on you, do you? What's the meaning of all that? What's the meaning of that? Wait! 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 No! Wait now! Please, wait! Wait! What? What for? So that was why you asked us here, right? No. To embarrass us? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, girls. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't envy you at all, okay? Please, let's, on, let's just go. go. Let's go, please. Jess, peace. Oh, Chief. Oh, Chief. Chief. Oh, Chief. What was the meaning of that embarrassing outside? No, that was because I don't want my wife mingling with those wayward girls that can corrupt you or even mislead you. Those girls were there long before I met you, long before I moved in here. That they belong in your past and they should stay there. Oh my, I don't believe you. I will not subscribe to this rubbish. Amanda, I sent my wife and children packing because of you, to make you happy. Now why can't you just do this for me? Why not? If you wanted me to dismiss them and the more civilized manners in which we have done it, rather than being so barbaric. Oh. Listen, uh, Amanda, uh, I did not mean to be barbaric, okay? But it is just that I don't want those girls interfering with our relationship. I, I want us to be happy together. See, I want you to be happy. Really? Yes. Then, it has got to be my way. Yeah, yeah, Amanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is a day of joy to me and my family. Whatever brings joy to my daughter, that I will always do. Wherever she finds joy, there I am. Only my here brings so much joy to my daughter, Princess Oluchi. Who am I to stop her happiness? Therefore, I, His Royal Majesty, the OB of Obadu Kingdom, refer to Onwara as my in-law, as I wait for them to come for further marriage rights. Um, Lord, please bring my princess. Behold the princess of Obadu Kingdom. Do you 
know this young man here? Yes. He is here to ask for your hand in marriage. I know you are in agreement. Yes, Daddy. Good. Please, greet them. Girls, I am so sorry. I'm honestly, I'm so ashamed of how my husband treated you guys. I am so sorry. Okay. You really need to be sorry. I said you need to be sorry, my dear Mrs. To be. What do you mean, Mrs. To be? Wow. Let me educate you. Has he properly married you? No. And all he does is dismiss your friends. And you just stand there and watch him. You couldn't even stand up to him. But I did, babes. I did. I even had a brawl with him after you guys left. <laughs> did you hear that? We even had a brawl after you guys left. In bed, of course. Jessica. Enough of that insult, Jessica. You don't talk to me like that. Have you heard me? Don't talk to me like that. You think you can intimidate me? <laughs> yeah. See Amanda. See Amanda. You don't forget that I know you in and out. You don't forget. I mean because you did drive car for this school anyhow. Don't talk to me like that. Oh. Don't you ever in your life. Don't try it. I see you have become very jealous. This, darling, is just the beginning. Oh, Amanda, don't walk out on your friends, okay? I wasn't walking. I wasn't walking. I'll see you then. We shall see. Nothing, girls. Nothing mega. That was very bad. Excuse me, Jai. Oh. That. Making <laughs> this whole thing personal. Please, please, please. What is it? Anyway, it's just a of the moment. Let's say something more serious. When is Chief coming to take us out? My dear Chief is not coming again. You remember those new guys I told you of now? Those money bags. That is where we will be milking. Those guys have money. We have to eat <laughs> it for them. <laughs> Seriously. How want do now? How want do we get happy? You know what drives me to Hey. <laughs> um, I've been having running stomach since yesterday. That oh, mother was like, oh. it's, it's been disturbing me. It usually happens though. Mm -hmm. Yes, so be. You'll be fine. Let that be fine, oh, please, so that we can go out. <laughs> they are hot. You're not. They are hot. Oh my God. They are hot. You're not. They are hot. Say what? She's hot. You're not. She's hot. Oh my She's God. Hot. You're not, she's hot. Hot like fire, hot like fire, hot like fire. Hot like fire, hot like fire, hot like fire. Hot like fire. They are hot, you're not, they are hot. Oh my god. They are hot. Ay! Jess, what's this? I Wait, I'm coming just a minute, okay? Hurry up. Ah! 
My Tommy. Is it that serious? It's very serious, so. <sighs> All right. Okay. I'll see you when you come back. Take care of yourself, oh. Okay. Have fun. Kiss, let's go. I want you guys to clear this place. Construct a grave. Make sure it's deep. Okay, okay. okay. Did you get me? Yes, yes. okay. Yeah. 
but they left immediately. God. What about the men? Are they still lodged here? Wow. They have checked out. Jesus. And she didn't say anything to you at all? Not at all. Good. Okay, let me just see a friend and talk to her, okay? Yes, darling. I've just come from the ultrasound. Yes, I've done the scan. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> just for you, darling. It's a boy. Mm. Okay, I'm on my way home.
and I take solace in your word, which say that you have set me above nations this day, above kingdoms, Lord, to uproot, to pull down, to destroy that which is not of you, Lord. Therefore, this moment, Father, Lord God, I take authority on your word, Lord, and I said at this time, this strange woman in my house, Lord, shall never be a fruit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every fruit that shall come out of her, Lord, such a fruit shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you say that I am your I am your chosen Lord. Father, Lord God, when you gave me my husband, you said that a man shall leave his family and cleave unto his wife. Therefore, what you, Lord, have joined together, let no man put asunder. Therefore, my Lord and my God, he came with nice, my husband, and no woman shall take him away from me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I claim what rightfully is mine. I claim what belongs to me, Lord. This moment, I send you angels of God to go and fight my battle. Fight my battle. I release the fire of God upon Every strange woman in that house, every strange woman, I release the fire of God. See, now you have graduated to uh, the mother of my son. <laughs> hey, tell me now, where do you want me to build your mansion? Anywhere in the world. And we can start to build it right now. Oh, should I change your car? Very good. Ah, you have made me proud. Hey! Open ah. mm. now, my son. Welcome. In the burial ground, it's no more stranger to the burial ground. You know that. I know it's only one son so far, but I've been through four girls, so I know my woman's body. I will kill my wife sometime. Maybe after one year, I will try for another son. Chief, it's like you don't understand me. I said you need to give her time, abstinence, or do you want her to die? Uh, um, uh, uh, I don't want my sister to die. Her body is not okay for that now. Due to the prolonged labor she passed through, it affected her utero. So you need to give her time. No pregnancy at all. For now.
Afternoon, sir. Afternoon, young lady. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. You're crying. What's the matter? Father, I have a confession to make. Confession? Okay, come with me. Come. <laughs> Ah, my in-law, how are you? Yes, I know, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, wait, 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 my in-law, wait. Did you ask her why I sent her packing? No, 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 my in-law. I, I, I can never insult my in-law. I am just asking you. Did you ask in the Diamaka why her husband sent her packing? Of course I know she's heavily pregnant. I know. What you can What would she do with the pregnancy? Give back to another of those uh, girls she, she, she always give back to. That is if she lives through it. I know what I'm talking. Because the doctor warned her never to do this again. But will she listen to me? She's stubborn. She disobeyed me. And she got pregnant. My, my in-law, my in-law, you are not listening to me. I'm very sure your wife obeys what you tell her to do. Hmm? Indeed, she does not listen to me. She's been stubborn. I'm very sure you will send a woman like that packing out of your house too. Well, all right. Well, that's 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 our own that's our own problem. I have no hands in whatever happens to her because I have warned her. The doctor warned her. She refused and she get pregnant. That is her problem. She can give birth to her daughter, another girl, and then uh, to hell with it. Uh, my. Can I have a wife? And I cannot tell her what to do. understand why you're delaying the payment of my dowry. Oh. My sweet 16. It came in for enough of that. Enough of it. We're doing it this week. Okay. Anything for my queen. Hmm? Come, come. come give me help. <laughs> my sweet 16. Are you happy now? Chief! Yes. Chief! Uh, Chief! Uh, 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 u
Chief! Obina! Obina! What again? What? Temperature! Amanda, be quick now, you know it's a long way to your village. Hello, Chief and Kim here. Yeah, yeah. Congrats on what? What? You must be the only one who doesn't know that I have just lost my son. Which wife? What? The twins? <laughs> Boys. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, okay, I, I, I'll call you. Okay, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I'll call you. Chief, I'm ready. Amanda. Chief. Oh, my sweet 16. Hmm? I just got a call from my friend in Abuja. Hmm. He said my wife had just put to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which wife? My wife now. Chief, what about my people? My dowry. Your king's men are waiting. You're going to pay my dowry now? Chief. Okay. That is true. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten, but you see, that one can wait. This cannot wait. I have to go and see my boys. Hmm? Listen, Amanda, please go upstairs and bring me my the top one, my brother. And the matching shoes for this. Quick, quick. Oh, matching chief. shoes. Ah, ah, chief. Ah. What are you doing? Listen, I have to be on the next flight to Abuja to see my boys. Okay? Chief. Hey. I cannot waste time. I'm going on the next flight to Abuja. Chief, okay. my people are waiting. Oh. I will see them. Ah. Daughter. 
Papa. That day, we waited and waited for our in-laws to come. But we did not see them. Eh, Papa, he got an urgent call from Thailand. So he had to go. Eh? Yes, but, um... Papa, he gave me this small thing to give you. He said you should just use it for palm wine and, you know. All this one for me? Yes, Papa. Thank my in-law. Tell him that I'm so happy. Papa, call on Chena. I bought some things as well. Eh? Who's Chena? Who's Chena? Come on, come and help me and carry this thing. Hey, in-law. What you ask me for is impossible. But can be possible if you get the man to marry you. That is exactly why I'm here, Baba. He's going to bring back his former wife. Do you want her dead? Ah, no! Ah, no, Baba, I don't want her dead. I, I can't kill her. I just want Chief on my side. Even if you want her dead, you can't get her. Why? Because I see fire all around her. Yet, she could not be consumed. Come and take a look at it. Look. No, she's not an evil woman. But I'm going to work on your case for the chief to pay your dollar soon. Thank you, Baba. Chief. <laughs> Good day, Chief. Yes. Chief, I know that you are very, very angry. But please, listen to us. Please, Chief. Please. Hear us out. You see, I respect gray hair because I have it. Of course. I respect elders because I am one. True. But this person behind you, I don't want to see him at my gate, in my house. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Please. Remove this guy here or I impound it. Chief. Oh, Just. Chief. My, my in-law. Shut up and get out here. Put this guy out. Remove this guy. Remove this guy. I don't want to Get out. Previously abominable. When I see it, the one I will rule. There's nothing much we can do than to beg you to tamper justice with mercy. Mm -hmm. Please, Buko. Chief, even when you came to me with the issue of a new wife, I wasn't in support of you. How can? I knew it was something wrong to be done. Please, Chief, I am begging you. Make peace with him. Please. You see, at the time, he invited some elders to go with him. We all refused. Mm. Because it was a nice saw. Okay, I don't know one more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. 
I will sleep over it. Okay. Um, but all I want to show you as fellow elders is that your journey here today is not fruitless. Oh, good, 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 good. This is happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is called for celebration. treating me as if I don't exist. It's either in did this or in did that. Oh, I exist. Only for your pleasure. You don't eat my food, you don't do anything. What's this the plan? What's this the plan, Chief? Why are you humiliating me? Why? Why? What is it that you want now? What is it? What do you want from me? You want some money? I'll give you some money. It's even an open check, you can write any amount on it. Did you abandon your degree? I got married, sir. And I had a child. But he died. I've been through so much, sir. Well, the record before me shows that you have 20-something carryovers. Four missing results. In fact, your case is almost impossible. It's 
Is there nothing you can do, sir? For now, nothing. Because by the time we finish writing those missing results and numerous carryovers, years must have gone by. What should you advise I do, sir? My young lady, my advice to you is to take fresh jump. I'm sorry. I wish I, I could help you. You can see I'm very busy. Chief, Chief, why are you doing this? Why, the day you said to pay my dowry, you pushed it. Why? Why, why you say today, you say tomorrow. Chief, why? Remember you said you're a man of your words. Don't worry, Amanda. Huh? I will handle this. Hmm? I'll handle it. But let me return for my no good. Okay? Hmm? Don't worry. Hmm? I told you that your case is unique. Before anything could be done for Chief to love you, you must get married to him first. Can't you make him do it? will be done out of his own will.
listen, the food is mine. Should I move it from the table? Auntie, should I move the food from the table? It's smelling. Auntie, get out! Mommy! Get, get out! Get out! Angel, what is it? She did what? Why did you beat my daughter? You are very stupid to ask me that question. Very stupid! I know what your problems are. But let me tell you, you are leaving this house. If not today, another day. Frustration! Oh, frustration! Frustration will kill you in this house. You are a frustrated woman! Come and push me out now. Come and drive me. Come and sweep me out. What is going on here? And what is this nasty smell? Hey! Your huh? concubine just slapped my daughter. What? You did what? How dare you? How dare I what? How dare I what? Have you eaten my food? Since I started cooking, have you eaten my food? Do you know what it means not to eat my food? Go and eat this very food! Mm. Yes! Is, is that why you must turn my compound into a smelly place? Is that why? Eh? No, no, go to room. No. Go, 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 go. Go to room right now. Go! Woo! <laughs> go. I don't blame you. <laughs> hey! Uh, come, come now. Uh, I am taking this because of the love I have for you and because of God. I mean, no woman would take this from, this is so from a co-wife. Let alone a woman I don't I, I, even I, I, know I, I, what I, I, to call. I, 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 I know. Hmm? I know. Indeed, uh -huh. I know. Hmm? Please. See, so this is a mistake I already made. And I know I have to correct it. And I will. Um, but uh, I need your support, please. Eh? I need your support. Okay, whatever you are doing, do it quick before I lose it. Because I have taken it okay. up to okay. here. Also, also. Eh? I will. Yeah. I will do it. Okay. Right. Amanda, yes. I called you here because. Uh, I want to discuss something of great importance with you. Hey, thank God, Chief. You finally decided to go and see my people. Uh, well, th that is something I need to do in the nearest future. But for now, I need to let you know what my plans are. Anything, Chief. Good. Anything for you. Good. That my twin duplex at uh, Zig's estate on household number two. I want to take over ownership immediately. Other documents and things like change of ownership, I'll do that later. What are you inferring? What are you inferring? So you have decided to throw me out of this house, right? Yourself and Nidhi have systematically schemed out a plan to throw me out of this house, my husband's house. It will never happen. It's never going to happen, you hear? Never! Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. See, they, they, I have not planned to either throw you out of the house or out of my life, systematically, like you said. No. It is just to bring peace. Okay. You have decided to throw away the baby with the bathwater so you can bring another one inside, Abby? It is never going to happen. This is my house. I'm not going anywhere. Amanda. In that case, if we need to remain here, it will be on one condition. Mm. That we put a stop to all the shoutings, the quarrels, the abusive language used in this house. You have to put a stop to all of that. Do you understand that? Mm. You talk to Lady too. Because there's no smoke without fire. Yes. Don't tell. It's been a long time. What happened? Hello. Married life. 
Do you still live in that compound, Chidi? Yes, I, I, I am still there. Eh? Hey, so I went there the last time looking for peace and Jesso, and they told me that peace has moved. Um, yeah, I, I heard she has moved on to what they call it. New cemetery, yes, New Cemetery Road. Is it that road that is around yes, that corner? The church, there is this big church there. Um, what do they call it? I... St. Mary's. St. Mary's, yes, St. Mary's, I suppose. St. Oh. Mary's. But just at New Cemetery, yes, New Cemetery Road. Eh. Okay, now I have to look for I really have to see her. You hear? You're looking well. But you were really carried away. That's why I came to apologize and to tell you I'm sorry. It's okay. It's really a pity what happened to Jess, you know. Amanda, if not for God, I would have been a dead person too. I guess your God wanted me to have a friend. <laughs> That's why I gave my life to Christ. Talking about marriage, I mean, Chief, how has it been? What marriage? <laughs> <laughs> the marriage is a farce. Oh. How do you mean? It's non existent. Look at me now. Do I look like a married woman to you? Amanda, if you want my candid advice as a true born again, uh. quit that marriage. I mean, you cannot be married uh. to a... I did not come here to be chastised by you. I came here only because I thought I had a friend and I needed someone to talk to. Okay, so what do you intend to do? They say that hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I intend to get my pound of flesh and a pint of blood. Amanda, the Bible says vengeance is of the Lord. Then that same Lord should have come to save my marriage and not me now. Oh my God, oh Amanda, what have you done? Look at your life. Oh God, look at my life. Oh mom, where are you? Where are you? Why did you go so soon? Oh God. <laughs> oh God, where do I start from? My husband. He's <laughs> not even a husband. Oh, my womb. I never have children again. God, what is this? Oh, my friends, where are they? <laughs> strong because you're a strong woman. Chief wants to dump me. That's what he's planning. 
Chief is planning to dump me. I will not let him dump me. He can never dump me. After parading me to everybody, mm -mm, it won't happen. After everything I did for him, I gave up my life. I have no certificate. Ah, oh, Chief. Ah, oh, you want to know what it's like to be a pained woman. When I release my venom, then you will know that to have the poison of a rattlesnake is no joke. Amanda or whatever your name is, let me tell you, if not that I am a Christian, I would have dealt with you in such a way. In what way? Nidamaka, in what way? By the time I bite you, the venom that will run through your veins, you will know how much I can how deal with How much Look at this thing with an uncertain future. Okay, you call yourself a rattlesnake, eh? Okay. But let me tell you, there is something that rot snakes and any living creature is afraid of. Which is fire. Amanda, by the time you jump fire, I will so consume you mercilessly that your dust, I mean your dust will rise up to heaven. But the Lord went. Do you think that I'm here exchanging words with you? You dare not touch my children again. Let's go. Look at her. You want to share my husband with me because I have kept quiet. Don't you dare me in this house again. Don't you dare me. Filter thing. You can't hurt.
made all this happen to you today? Yes, please. Everything in the hands of God and He will do it for you. Okay. Don't cry. Um, Stop crying, okay? Mm. Mm. Everything will be fine. Don't mm. cry. Don't cry. Mm. Everything will be fine. To go and look for my son. How do you hope to go about that? My mother told me before she died that my son was taken to the house. And I know where well my brother lives. And so? On my way to Lagos, I'm going. I'm going to Lagos. Amanda, you have to calm down and take things easy. I mean, you have to be sure of what you want. What else am I living for? What else? I've lost everything. Everything. It's the only one I have. It's the only thing that will give me life. I need to go and look for him. I need my son back. I need my son back.
What happened? What did you do to him? I'm sorry, okay? You know what I'll do? Tomorrow I'll get you a whole packet of biscuits. Yeah, baby. That way, even if you take two, you always have many more in the packet. Okay? Hi, sweetie. Hey, baby. How are you? Mm, well, you want to meet us very soon. You have to help me. But first of all, you need to eat all your veggies, okay? And then. Big and strong like daddy. Ah! <laughs> how are you? Who's the uh, <laughs> and how's the little big strong boy doing? Excuse me? It's a girl. Look, we have a son already. All we need is a girl. Okay. Well what do you see? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Uh, um, you know what? That uh, green toy, the one with the broken foot. Bring it for me, I need to fix it. So, that's my boy. Go! Left, right, left, right, <laughs> left, right, left, right! <laughs> right. <laughs> See, um... There's this thing I've been meaning to ask you for a long, long time. But every time I try to say it, I just develop this cold fit. Because I know that to always bring the sad memories of what happened back then at the library when we first met. I just want to ask you, why, why did you not retaliate when I slapped you at the library that day? My dear Onyema, please do not tear this letter. It is with a heavy heart that I write. How is the princess? I am sure she has made you a happy man. You deserve her. How is your son, Jinecheren? Yes, your son, because I am not worthy to be a mother. If I start from the beginning, my heart will not take it. I deserve all that happened to me. And you tried, you did try to make a good woman out of me. Only my first love, for all the love we shared. I beg for your forgiveness. Please, beg the princess for me. And as for our son, explain to him that I love him. I am truly sorry. My life has no meaning. And all I ask is for you all to pray for me. I am gone, never to return. Chimamanda Okori. Finds happiness. Oh, 
I'm sure you've forgiven her. Action. Hey! Oh, yeah, one more. Welcome. Thank you. Hey! 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 My name is Jamie Black. I'm playing Oyema in this movie. But the Jane Nancy Productions is doing. Trust me, it's a really nice one. You're gonna enjoy it when it comes out. Uh, my role is that of a quintessential lover. He's uh, a guy who knows how to reach the heart of a woman. Unfortunately, the woman they were supposed to love really, uh, that he loved first, didn't reciprocate his love and they had a baby together. But then subsequently, he met another person that was his exact soulmate and together they built a happy life. It's something that's really very wonderful, something that's really great, something that, uh, that I'm proud to be of. And come on, it's Uche Nancy's production, so you know that the costumes are the shh. I would have did that myself. Trust me, everyone's looking spanking good. You should have seen the party scene where we have all had yellow on. They put out some really dope stuff for people to wear and trust me, it's like totally off the hook. It's supposed to be beautiful working with Ini, working with Tonto, working with um, likes of uh, Junior Pope, you know, it's a deep director I'm working with for the first time, but he's doing a good job. And the DP, Oini, ah, that's the name of the character. He's also doing really well. You know, there's this guy, there's a silly guy on that job. His name is Isaac. He's always taking photos up and down. <laughs> I'm gonna break his camera on off the stage like.